I have books. We have different covers. We do have different covers. I don't know why we have different covers. I like yours it's probably a little different better. Edition. I don't know. Yeah, when, when was yours published? Um, I don't know. It'll show right there. Oh, you no, remember going to that, that page? I am um, not smart enough. Oh mm. my god! This one's from 2020. <laughs> oh, this one's from like 20, 2003. Yeah, so you got the old one. That's all right. OG. That's so right. So you, you picked this book. Yes. You made me read it. Yeah. I'll never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Mind, so, body, and spirit. So, it's Warrior of the Light. Yeah, I was gifted this book by a friend of mine. And. How do you pronounce his name? Paulo Cello? Kello? It's Brazilian. Yeah. Coelho? Coelho. Oh, look at you. Coelho. Author of The Alchemist, which I'm I've guess. not checked out yet, but everything references that book. So Apparently, think, there's an adaptation to the movie as well. Yeah, this seems like a workbook for The Alchemist. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm sure. Someone will correct us. I don't know, but it's some pretty zen um, stuff. So I'm going to let you roll wherever you want to start. I took a bunch of notes. Let's go through it and see what we tag. pretty good, but we could probably we could try to keep this to under an hour. <laughs> but I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in this book, even this, though it's ti it's a tiny book. It really is. It's a very quick read, but it's kind of one of those books where the more you read through it, the deeper it gets. Mm -hmm. Even though it seems very superficial to begin right. with, the statements are very, you know, the great one-liners like we all love but yeah. once you like dig into it you're like oh man yeah it's that's it, some deep it references a lot of other things we've studied right it's a good find for sure for sure um well, let me just let me just go through let me just go to the first page that yeah i know you got notes there i do let me go to the ones that were really really suffering or really stuck out for me oh page eight okay I have underlined more than once he has wasted his time fighting for a lie and he has suffered for people who did not deserve his love. You know, I just realized we're going to be on different pages because we have different editions. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, that's so different. whatever that's different for you. Yeah. It is not the page. eight isn't the same no. for you. It's not <laughs> no, different editions. I mean, I need to get your edition then. It's okay. That's awesome. We can review. That's another. I'm excited because that means yeah. there's another book I can read. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, it's probably the same stuff. Just probably the same. <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe there's more. I don't know. Get all versions, people. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. So what was that again? More, <laughs> more than once, he has wasted his time fighting for a lie. And he has suffered for people who did not deserve his love. Victors never make the same mistake twice. That is why the warrior only risks his heart for something worthwhile. Right. Man. I, actually, that, that page is in there. I read that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know you've had experiences with that, like coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Just to call you out. <laughs> it's part of life. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah and people are going to let you down. I think that's what he might be referring to. And then... You know, making the same same mistake twice, whether, you know, relationships, friendships, mm -hmm. you kind of learn how to um, navigate and see the warning, heed the warning signs, trust your gut more. Yeah. It kind of goes into even the the former book that we did with the Way of the Warrior. Mm -hmm. Is that the Way of the Seal, but yeah. Way of the Seal. It's the same shit. <laughs> Way of the Seal, it kind of all is, but... That front side focus, yeah. large picture focus, mm -hmm. um, being able to see it before it comes. Because people are going to be assholes. Yeah, yeah. People are always the same. But, uh, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's a tricky thing to, yeah. uh, like, you know, open your heart to somebody. Like, how soon do you do that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, and, and in coaching, too, you get involved yeah. with somebody's, you know, well-being and their, the path they're on. And then yeah. they decide not to do it anymore. You know, let me tough. ask. So let me ask you this. So you you have this warrior mindset podcast. We you coach people how to sometimes kick people in the face, mm -hmm. self defense. Mm -hmm. Like it seems very physical. And even the workouts we do, people are like, all you do is lift heavy weights, Heather. You know, <laughs> but it's much deeper than that. 
Right. So when I read this passage, it, I guess talk about like how a warrior's heart fills into that. Because I hear Sensei Pena talk and you talk. It's deeper than that. There's a lot of love in the practice that you do mm-hmm. and that we do at the gym and in the dojo. Um, but talk about that. It's not just punching people in the face. Right, no. I mean, yeah. You're talking about martial arts yeah, in general. Yeah, martial that arts. That path. Um, I mean, and, you know, training CrossFit can kind of touch on that. That's where I mm-hmm. – that's, that's the part of that world that I like the most yeah. um, is those aspects that, that touch on that. But, yeah, I mean, there's a relationship between um, student and teacher. Mm-hmm. There's a relationship uh, between people when they when they fight, when they spar, mm-hmm. or you roll, whatever mar- martial arts you're into. Mm-hmm. Um you know, there's a level of trust there. You know, like when you when you yeah. square off with somebody and you're going to fight somebody. We're just talking about that aspect of it. There's a level of trust there that I'm going to try to hit you in the face, right. but I'm not going to try to hurt you. Yeah. And then it, there's a level there that we're going to play in. Mm-hmm. You know, which you know I'm going to give what you give, and you're going to receive what you receive. Um, and that that also plays itself out in the in the actual instruction too, right? Like yeah. I give as much as you yeah. can receive, and then vice versa. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, the more you give, the more I give, and, and that—that's mm-hmm. where the bond starts to be made between yeah. people. And I really dig that. And um, yeah. you know, there's—it's unlimited, you know. For sure. But then the other side of it, which there's a lot of stuff in here that he talks about, um, you know, the warrior. Part of the warrior's uh, responsibility is to help other people become mm-hmm. the warrior. You know, like like Coach Divine teaches you. You know, master yourself, serve mm-hmm. others. You you learn to master yourself through service to others. Yeah. That's part of the martial arts path too. Um, so mm-hmm. you know, you also have a responsibility to keep your cup full, you know, because if you're constantly filling everyone's cup with yours, where does yours come from? You know, it's not unlimited. It doesn't get generated right. in an unlimited quantity, quality, quantity and quality. You have to continuously mm-hmm. fill your cup as well. So where you know, that's part of the path. The too. balance. Mm-hmm. And for some of us, <clears throat> we fill our cup by helping others you know mm-hmm. and that's where that comes from yeah um so well it's so also, that that first thing yeah, that you just read right which is people let you down that's yeah. where it comes from because yeah you're continuously replenishing them yeah and they you know they people just take and take and take and there's no yeah. reciprocation it's sort of up to you to understand when it's not being reciprocal anymore reciprocated reciprocated anymore i, think, I don't know i don't know but you get the point yeah. um you know what i mean and yeah. that and it's at that point that you have to make decisions and stuff and that's the pain yeah. painful part i think it's interesting well it's not interesting it's all for a reason right these people these efforts men they know what they're doing but in the process to becoming living the way of a black belt i don't even want to say becoming a black belt because it's like you you either are or you're not i don't know but it's deep yeah but it's interesting because i think and correct me but the first one and two um Shodan, Nidan mm-hmm. are for yourself. And right. then from it's, there are you, the rest of your progression and black belt up to yeah. infinity, whatever is for other people. Mm-hmm. That's what, that's well, it what comes I've, back. It kind of, I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's usually the first five to six dawn, the wow. first five to six degrees or whatever you're doing for yourself. I mean, it's everybody's different. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Um, Speaking of which, it could be the first eight. I don't know. I, you know, it's everyone's different. I think, I think it's interesting because every everyone's path in life and it seems within martial arts and I'm, you know, still very new to it, but is it's your own journey. Right. And that's what I love about like just life in general and martial like everyone's getting something different out of it. Mm-hmm. Um and and also giving something to it. You know, just watching other people like James the other night do Katra, the the new kid Sam who came mm-hmm. in, I was like, okay, I can learn from him. You know, yeah, right. it's exciting because yes. it's like having fresh perspectives yes. all the time. Yep. If you're paying attention, um, which I do, and I watch everything. It's, it's exciting. Well, this I'm yeah. going to jump in front of you here. Yeah, yeah, go. The very first page. Is, I don't know if it's the first one for you or not. No, but, it's not. I look. I peaked. Um, <laughs> but maybe. So, yeah. uh, a warrior of the light knows that he has much to be grateful for. Right. There's a lot to this mm-hmm. one here. Um, oh, yes. Then the last bit here that I have highlighted. A warrior does not need to be reminded of the help given him by others. He is the first to remember and he makes sure to share with them 
any rewards he receives. Mm. That to me, that touched me when I read that because that is wow. very much master yourself, serve others. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's fascinating to, I don't know this person at all, this Paul, I can't pronounce his name, but Paolo, whatever, but. Um, Paolo Coelho. I mean, he's, I looked him up, he's, he's not a martial artist, he's not a Navy SEAL, he's not a, yeah. any of the things that I'm, I yeah. traditionally find this stuff in, but he's, he's touching on the same things, yeah. it's from a different angle. Um, that was that was a pretty good one to me that's very good yeah I try to you know even given your past like I hear like David Goggins talk or like these incredible stories mm -hmm. of people even like as shitty as their past was or whatever they still never forget where they're from right it's and important. who and who helped them yeah who helped them to get there because you you don't do it alone you don't the good and the bad right there's people there that mm -hmm. have helped you even just even just a little bit um this one i this one really spoke to me because i i think and we've talked about this before like how some people think we're crazy like we're always doing crazy stuff to prove people or that's what they think you know <laughs> to me like i like trying new things like yep. different ventures different business ventures trying different stuff um, but this passage really spoke to me. A warrior of light is never predictable. I have the same one. I actually opened the same page. That's pretty weird. <laughs> that is cool. He is not afraid to weep over ancient sorrows or feel joy at new discoveries. A warrior does not spend his days trying to play the role that others have chosen for him. Right. Yeah! <laughs> I love that. Yeah, if, I if love you that so David much. If Goggins at all, that one will speak to you. Yes. Um, for sure. It's so good. Right. I mean, you have to. So good. As much as we're sitting here talking about like it's a communal thing and people are involved and all this stuff, you have to also be willing to walk alone. Yes. You know. Um, yeah. Because I mean, and I'll, like, you will find this, and this is going to sound cold, but like, if if you're on your martial arts journey mm -hmm. for real, from white to black belt, mm -hmm. the people you start with might not be there at the end. Right. And that it's a sad thought, it's a sobering thought too, <laughs> to know that like yeah. this path is long, but mm -hmm. in you're gonna use of not use in a bad way, but you're gonna utilize other people and you're gonna mm -hmm. feed off other people and you're you're gonna help other people and they're gonna help you. But yeah. ultimately, you know, at the end of it it's it's you and uh, what you can do and what you can produce and what you can pull out of thin air on your mm -hmm. own. That's also what I like about it. But that's also what plays into this mm -hmm. here is that um you can't spend your time along that path, and that's not just martial arts, that's life in general, you know that. Uh, but you can't spend your time pleasing everyone or trying to be the person that everyone thinks that you should be. Yeah. You can't, no. you will never win. That sucks. Yeah, you, you'll never win. You'll, I, you'll, you'll yeah. wind up disappointing everyone, including mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. For sure. And uh, you know, reminds me of the, if, do you remember the, in my first paper, the, the upside down triangle? With like, there's you, and then there's all the shit that happens around you. Right, uh, yeah. And you have to like, it's gonna come and go, shit gets bad, mm -hmm. shit calms down, but you you can choose your path and be steadfast um, as long as you're focused and you know what, what you're doing, what mm -hmm. your goal is, mm -hmm. regardless of the shit that's going on around that's you. That's right. You and can he, either crumble. There's a lot of that in this book. There is, or you could, fucking keep going because yeah. why not I, and my it seems pretty simple to me but um well, yeah. that's how we that that's how we wind up building self-reliance and yeah and believing in yourself resiliency you know? and the the very next or it's like one page away or whatever is another mm -hmm. one that relates to that that in order to have faith in his own path he does not need to prove that someone else's path is wrong yeah that one's cool too and it also applies to what we were just talking about in that Oh man! While you should mm -hmm. um, be your own person, that doesn't mean everyone else is wrong, and I think that's an important distinction to make. Yeah, that you will you will find you find it in any athletic sport. You see it a lot in pro athletes. Mm -hmm. You're going to find it in business. I'm sure you find it in politics. Absolutely. But like, stop with the superiorness, mm -hmm. self superiorness shit. Mm -hmm. You're not superior to everyone else. Like if that's the root where you're coming from everything, mm -hmm. you're, you're also never going to 
you know, you, you have that's to me that's humility that I'm not better than you, mm-hmm. right? And you said it too. The new guy, you can learn from the new guy. Mm-hmm. Like for I had a for sure. I've been tying my gi pants for ten years, right? And it, you know how it's always hard to cinch those things on the side. Oh yeah. I had like a four year old kid show me like why do it like this? <laughs> and like, I was like. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> and now I do it that way yeah. every time because my pants don't fall down now. Like, Yay. You know, you can learn from anyone, <laughs> anywhere, anytime if you're, if you're paying attention and willing to listen. Side note about pants. Miss <laughs> um, Penna, I, mm-hmm. I was a white belt, and I was like, Allie, Allie. <laughs> she just finished working out. I was like, um my pants i'm afraid they're gonna fall down <laughs> she's like come here like holy crap <laughs> really tight now she's like there you go you just gotta tighten them there you go <laughs> but it is true i i have found especially in politics where um and in so many where i've had people like invite me to their house and like show me how to like like table etiquette, like mm-hmm. what I should say and shouldn't say, like how I should dress, um, how to wear my makeup and hair. Um, I'm sure. Workout pictures are too much. Like, yeah. just like people are like, well, are you going to take all your bodybuilding stuff? I'm like, no. Why would I? That's like, who I am. That's who I am. Like, so I've had. If the world doesn't like that, then screw the world. I've had to fight that from the day, day one mm. with running in politics that's unfortunate and that's like made me like tough though like being like no like i will it's going to be on my calendar i'm going to be doing these things like this is who i am and if that's that's part of me so that's been very yeah. very interesting yeah um i bet but you got to be you so i want to go back a little bit Mm-hmm. It's what you open with, but I have this page here. In my version, it's page twenty, um, <laughs> and I I highlighted the entire page. It's not that long, and I wrote so much of this. Fuck yes! All right, <laughs> I just want to read it. Mm-hmm. The warrior of the light knows that no one is stupid, and that life teaches everyone, however long that may take. He always does his best and expects the best of others. Through his generosity, he tries to show each person how much they are capable of achieving. Some of his companions say. Some people are so ungrateful. The warrior is not discouraged by this, and he continues to encourage others because this is also a way of encouraging himself. I think, yeah. I wish I would have flipped that when you brought that up. But I had that one too. Like, um, that kind of encapsulates the whole, uh, you know, honestly, that's like why I am who I am. Like that, mm-hmm. that right there. It's, yeah. Um, that was pretty powerful to read that. Yeah, I had at the top. Encourage others equals encourage yourself. Right. It all feeds into each other. That's why, like I, um, I don't know. I, I like helping other people. Mm-hmm. And I don't try to be annoying about it, but it's it's fun to. As much as like, like martial arts or fitness or whatever, you do have to be alone a lot of that time. Yeah, there's. To me, it's also about like the relationship building. Oh, right. You know, like you said, like feeding off of the, it's like doing yoga alone versus doing it in a class. Mm -hmm. You feed off each other. You hear each other's breath. Mm -hmm. You, you know, it's all a, it's all a thing. Absolutely. Well, then there's this other part here um, uh, for me, 23, but uh, a worry of the light does not postpone making decisions. Mm. The chap- the little in- entry is not really about that. The last part it says, but once he has started, a warrior of the light perseveres until the end. Yep. Okay, and I'll come back to that. And it goes to this other page um, where he's talking about uh, the warrior hears someone say, I need to understand everything before I can make a decision. I want oh, to have the gosh. freedom to change my mind. And I want to talk about both of those with you um, because we talk about this lo- a lot. Yeah. Um, and it talks about the warrior of the light makes decisions. He relies on his you know, daily discipline and what he works mm-hmm. on and he believing in himself yeah. and his friends say, but you do this every day. You're not free. And the warrior, but the warrior is free. He knows that an open oven bakes no bread. Right. And I wrote discipline mm-hmm. equals freedom because I'm drinking Jocko's drink and wait, which, which like, page is that on? It's 47. I want to see if I wrote the same one, but, um, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
because you were talking about that. You were talking about like what what is it that makes you continue yeah. to work and do the same thing, right? Like what is that? And yeah, um, Jocko's right about that. And uh, you know, it took me a long time to understand that too. Mm-hmm. But it's not just martial arts; it's every aspect of your life. I see people that don't quite understand um, goal setting. I mean, I coach a lot of, you know that, I coach a lot I've of people on setting goals recently, yeah. and uh, what discipline means, you know. And mm-hmm. it's interesting because I get I get to sit on the other side of so many of these papers. In, in mm-hmm. If you're listening, in, in the martial arts we practice, whenever you get close to one of your, your gradings or your rank tests, your promotions, whatever you're going to come to, one of the things I require is you write a paper, and I usually assign it on something, yeah. like something that's personal or upcoming for you or whatever. But I get to sit on, and one of the one of the words you write on at some point is discipline. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting to see everybody's interpretation of discipline and how the majority of people, I think, interpret it as negative, right? Hmm. Um, for the most part, they see it as- dis- Interesting. Yeah, they see it as the th- the price I pay. Because you don't, it's like, they see it as something they don't want to do, but they have to do. Yeah, yeah, instead of seeing it as, like Jocko spins it, discipline equals freedom, as it's your gateway to yeah. having freedom. It's your gateway to having money. It's your gateway to looking the way you want to look. It's yeah. your gateway to living the way you want to live, yeah. right? But that's why, you know, you know that you're going to be who you are. You know you're going to do the things that you need to be doing, mm-hmm. or not need to be. You understand the things that you need to be doing, and so you're going to do them. Yes. Right, because you've learned those lessons. You've yeah. learned the lessons of goal setting. You know. Yeah. Like you, you did a bodybuilding show. Your goal wasn't to look a certain way. You're, I mean, maybe it was. That was the thing you did. But what, what I'm sure you got out of the process was all the habits. Now yeah. you know how to control yourself in yeah. preparing to eat, to eat right, to train yeah. right, to show up to training, to show up every day. Yeah. Those are the things along the way. That's mm-hmm. the value. Yeah. And I think people miss that, you know, and they don't understand like this one thing here that people are saying, you're not free. Or on the other side of it, they say, Man. I need to understand everything before I make a decision. They don't understand that the journey is where you understand. That's right. <laughs> I think that's I where the answers come from. I don't know if it's you that said it or if I heard from somewhere, but I stole it and I've been saying this a lot. If I said it, I stole it from someone. Okay, well, then I stole it from you. Whatever. <laughs> Everything's been stolen. But oh, yeah. The goal setting thing, it's like the, um, and no offense to MBAs out there, but because it's great, get your education, um, but tend to overanalyze everything yeah. and not start. Yes. And it's, I agree. it's usually because they're scared of failing, I think. I know that's why I haven't started certain things because I was like, I, I don't, I'm not disagreeing. I'm thinking, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, it could also be like lack of faith in yourself that, yeah. you, that you can't actually do it. Right. Like, so I'm, I'm just not going to start because I don't think I can, I can see it through. Right. 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 Um, or, you know, well, cause they, you, you started start, it too much. You start something huge and you're like, this ain't going to work. And then you have to right. stop and you're afraid right. of what people might think of you. Right. You're afraid of the failure, which I've done too before, mm-hmm. you know, but to your point, you know, and I'm, this is what I'm saying I stole, that the saying, you know, shoot for the moon, you may fall, you may land somewhere in the stars. Right. It's that whole thing of like, mm-hmm. I didn't win the bodybuilding competition, but damn, did I not get in the best shape of my life? I learned how to train. I could train other people now. Like That's right. Like the, what I learned through that process is what I got out of it. Mm-hmm. Not standing on show spray tanned. Like that yeah. was not the point. I think you said it better than I was trying to say it. But yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. It wasn't that. Exactly. I had to do it because I was like, all right, I signed that's, up for this shit. <laughs> that's what people don't like. I, I, I realize, I don't know, not too long ago that that's really what it is. It's that people don't understand. They, they focus on the goal. They focus on the shiny thing too yeah. much. Whereas yeah, you've got to have that thing mm-hmm. that makes you do things in general, right? It's mm-hmm. like you know, like a Spartan race. It's mm-hmm. not the race day itself. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the training you do. Like, yeah. it's not the black belt itself. It's, it's just a, again, it's right. a cliche, but it's a piece of fabric, right? Yeah. It's who you become along that yeah. path is what's Gosh. valuable, right? For sure. Even like running for political office, like right. I'm helping people along the way. Well, that, that's right. The first time you ran, you didn't, you didn't win. Yeah. But you would not be doing the things you're doing now had you not done that. No. Right. 
And you'd not be doing them the way so, you're doing them. And that's okay. And just bump the mic. <laughs> um, and that's okay, but I'm not running. Just another example. I'm not running to get just get my name on a ballot as a token. Right. I'm doing it to actually help people, and mm -hmm. I'm actively helping people along the way. That's what I want to do. There you go. So whether that's going to help me win or not, I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. But see, least. with that mindset, it doesn't matter what. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter what yeah. you achieve because yeah. you're doing the things you want to do. Right. Right. And I think, you know, there's a really interesting, this is kind of going off topic, but I watched a really interesting documentary last weekend um, Michael Phelps put together on mm. uh, Olympic athletes. Okay. And He'd know a thing or two about he that. He would know a little bit about <laughs> that, but he talks a lot about, like, mental – um, like mental capacity of Olympic that level of athlete, right? And then also the opposite side of that, and how it like crushes them. Like and they're typically there's a high gosh. suicide rate within Olympic. Wow, I for, never knew that. Former Olympic athletes, um, and professional athletes huh. when they lose. Um, so the mental like so another thing is like when you do reach that goal, you know how how you go through something huge and then you have like a slump afterwards. Man, uh, it's funny you, know? you mentioned that. I was just, while you were talking it's, about that, I was just thinking about the reality of that. It's like mm -hmm. a, a, a high. Yeah. And then like, oh. You get a little depressed. I did after my last body long show. Mm -hmm. I got very depressed because yep. I, I kind of love the grind. Mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe I should train for body long shows. I'm like, I don't have the time or money to do that. Well, that's that. why people do that all the time though. That's why people for get sure. into that cycle because they're, Absolutely. they're using them as like tent poles along the way. Yeah. For sure, I, I, it's a great documentary. It, I mean, it's it's not great, but it's good. It's, yeah, it's gives you content. it gives you good insight to yeah, to think about another reason. I think maybe people might have experienced like that, like just crushing it every day and then not succeeding yeah, on that goal. What you're, and then they're what just like, doing? "Fuck it, I'm not yeah. going to do anything." You know, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Instead of seeing the good out of what they got along the journey, right? right. Two yeah. different perspectives. Yeah, that is interesting. Um, wow, I'm gonna check that out. That's what. Where's that? Netflix or anything? Or I think I might watch it on Hulu. Hulu. Yeah, I think so. A warrior does not try to appear one way or the other. He simply is. What do you make of that one? I was being yourself. Do you highlight that one? Being yourself. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I like that too. Man. I also like the idea that. Um, you know, the, you know those people that are kind of like chameleons, like they're different around different people mm -hmm. or whatever. I, I find that um, it's disingenuous. It's not authentic, right? I don't know. Maybe that's your authentic self is to be different around different people. No, I because I'm in politics. I've talked to all different types of people. My goal when talking to someone is to make them feel comfortable around me. Sure, sure. So, right. If I'm meeting with. Um, uh, how do I say this? But uh, really conservative right. gentlemen, I'm going to talk a little deeper. I'm going to shake their hand hard, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be very direct. And like, mm. as where if I'm you know going into a, maybe a less um, prosperous would, neighborhood, yeah, I got you. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going I'm to listen. I get where you're I'm not going to be as forceful. I don't think that's the same as putting on airs, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that is my... Cause Which is what I was trying to explain. Okay, maybe so. Because uh, I'm trying to like make people feel comfortable. You're just being professional. Yeah, I, guess, I guess so. Yeah, you're just not... Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's the opposite of being a dick. I'm not changing myself, but no, I, yeah. I do have to like put on a certain... Right. I think it's fine to make someone feel comfortable. Thing. I'm talking about people that they put on airs. They're like, they pretend to be something they're not in order to like oh get something from you or whatever you know maybe i don't i don't know but i just i like the way he put that hmm. um in terms of uh you know to not try to be one way or the other he simply is I mean, you still well, I, I still believe i know you i know at the end of the day you're still who you are yeah you're not, not gonna I'm take not the like, shit off of them you're not gonna like no be that way and make them feel comfortable and they're gonna say something that's completely fucking crazy no i've had like, okay sure i've had conversations yeah. I, I can with see you saying people like, no, that's right right yeah yeah, <laughs> and the conversation was going great, I've and then you. they say stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, no. Nope, I was gonna... like, man, you just ruined the entire conversation. <laughs> yeah, we do not need right? to talk about that. And he was right? like, oh ho ho ho. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking. Let's about. Let's get back to the former. What we were. Let's talk about taxes. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about 
whatever, a crazy crap. Homeless about. population right. and what you think they should That's do. That's what we're here for. Right. We're, not, we're never going to agree yeah, on I that. Yeah, I know you too well. So it, And he kind of laughed because he knows, like, at that point, I think he knew, he was like, oh, yeah. she knows what she's doing. She's not playing around. She's not playing around. Right. Right. I'm like, no. Right. Boop. Not yeah. talking about that with you. We're going to shut this down. <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's any, um, do you, do you get a gut, like, there's some manipulation within that, possibly? What you're doing? No. Oh. Just that, like that passage that you just read, not being yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you're going? <laughs> and no. Maybe that's why I was asking. I've been around people that are, um, they're not who they really are. Yeah. And it's, it's, um, it's disingenuous at, mm-hmm. at, at best, I think. Um, you've been around people like that. I mean, come on, that aren't who they really are, you know? And I, and I understand that when you first meet someone or whatever, you know, they're not who they really are. You know, you're mm-hmm. not going to open up completely. And you, you know, no yeah. one's going to do that the first time they meet somebody. I mean, whatever relationship level they're at. Yeah. That's not how it works. You, you're always going to be sort of guarded or semi-guarded around a new person, right? But, yeah. but still, underneath it all, you should still be who you authentically are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, just just be who you are, you know? Don't worry about embarrassing yourself, you know, because you're doing the thing that you normally do, and you, now you don't want to do it because you think somebody might judge you. I mean, it's just goofy, you know? But but I think we it all really do is. We all do that, though. We do, too. I think sometimes, yeah, because we're not always, like, 100% confident or no no, you know, like, no 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 nor should you be yeah but like i think that gets to the root of you know you want that term warrior associated with your name you definitely step one is to be who you are <laughs> you know like you know yeah um but yeah. that also that it's also that you you know in order to do that in order to just operate on the level of who you are every day you also have to just kind of practice being that mm. you know what i mean yeah, there's a couple passages in here that kind of feeds off of that, but um, the never cowardly mm-hmm. um, speaking uh, in public, defend in public, de- defend your ideas in public. Mm-hmm. That is hard to do. Um, right. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, you, you, you simply need to be you because you shouldn't you shouldn't put your morals on pause or you know agree to something that you really don't want to do mm-hmm. you know it's like the it, whole, it, I, yeah. I forget which show what it was yours or something i don't know who i was talking to but about saying yes to things like we've there, talked about there, that people who some. can't say no you know yeah. and no is a complete sentence why right? Because I'm a slave to my dream. <laughs> right. But actually, a warrior of light is a slave yeah, to his that, dream. I actually have that one right here. What? Yeah. That's weird. We both pull at the same time. But I wrote discipline equals freedom on that one too. It um, is true. It, it is true. Like when you are like focused and, you know, we talked about like I am in the process of just like paying off my last bit of debt mm-hmm. and I'm not buying stuff. I'm not going out to eat. I'm packing my lunches. I am mm-hmm. like not getting my nails done like i'm like sticking to it i'm sticking to it and i have a goal i have many goals but and i hate to say the word goals but because it's just who i am i don't know it's a fine word it's a, that was it, earlier it, i wasn't it, saying it, it, it's a bad word i know but when i think people again, goals are important i think people tend to i think the go- word goal is probably used because it, it's my way of life it's yes. not yeah. Just like that's my goal for this time. Yeah. I'm always gonna be. I'm always gonna be like that. Right. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I mean, different. you hear people say, I'm, "I'm very. I'm a very like not goal me, oriented. Person. I'm a very goal oriented person." And you think, "Wow, that guy's. You know, that person is probably like uptight all the time because they're always <laughs> setting goals and shit." Right. But it's not the point. The point of being a goal setted person is that you're always building towards something. You're always looking towards the future. Right. You have mm-hmm. these. And if you if you're goal oriented, you understand that these are step stones on the way right yeah. but like we talked about the yeah. the value is not the in period it's like the the point up to it that's where the mm-hmm. value comes in mm-hmm. that's where you should focus yeah you know it's like a meme it's like love the process whatever i mean it's cheesy but it's yeah. true 
And then I also, there's a passage in here, he talks a lot about um, talking and resting with his his comrades and his other warriors. And that reminds to me of like having, resting but not being caught off guard. Oh, right. Yeah, I, remember um, I read that too. But. And actually, after I read the, uh, this book, I was like thinking, I'm like, so that's like what prompted me to have like the karate folks over to sit by the fire and just like mm -hmm. talk because he talks about like just sitting by the fire looking at the stars and just mm -hmm. talking it's important you know um and being able to there's something about like that atmosphere like kind of let your guard down a little bit you know yeah you're not in your gi or right. you know it's That's kind right. of a we get um, to see you for who you really are yeah for just a little bit yeah and it's fascinating it really is because mm -hmm. it's kind of like i get to see it all the time they show it a little <laughs> bit of different mm -hmm. how they are differently yep uh, it's, it's they're just different that's right that's right like that's yeah. the thing like in in it's cool in class when you're practicing are you are you putting on airs yeah you know, that's what i want to know as a huh. as a teacher looking long term so give me an example well i mean like is <laughs> I don't even know if I have a good example other than like, um, like you come to class and you know, are you like, is that the only place where you're on time and, and you got shit together? You know what I mean? Oh. Does any of that spill over anywhere else? Oh uh, yeah. You know, are yeah. you, you're learning these lessons that applies to this one thing we're doing, but mm -hmm. are you capable of taking it and applying it to your life? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's one direction. Um, mm -hmm. Or even the opposite, like some people, they have their, sh I mean, they're like, they're very, they have all their stuff together, but then they can't get there on time. They look like they slept under a truck, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's the opposite. And then, you know, and then, you know, you, you there's times when you, you misjudge people too, you know, mm -hmm. um, you think, oh, this person never going to never gonna amount. be able to do They'll shit do and it. they wind up being the best student you've ever had. Yeah. You know? It's just, yeah. um, all that stuff that's what i want to see i like mm. i like scenarios like you're talking about you, you get to see how they are outside out, yeah outside and then how does it apply yeah in class and that's just that one scenario but that's everywhere else like it's like at work versus at home yeah you know that's cool i guess i'm sitting there and i'm typically like outside of stuff like pretty quiet honestly mm -hmm. unless i'm like have to be on because mm -hmm. i think I don't know, yep. it's just it's just very cool to see and then other people like are vying for attention all the time and mm -hmm. it's just i love watching right because I, I just i can read it all mm -hmm. and then where does it come from like what's what's creating that yeah you know it's yeah it's, it's cool it is it's very, forging warriors it is very very cool so uh, you have anything because i want to i want to change the tone a little bit there's Go another section it. here um yeah I don't know if you had anything you wanted to jump into no, first. No, there's so much good stuff in here. There's just one here. Um, in uh, Which page are you on? Uh, it's like 80, but it's towards the end. Um, he's talking about making rights uh, for things you've done wrong. Ooh, yeah. No warrior can sit down by the fire and tell the others, I mm. always did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Anyone says this is lying and has not yet learned to know himself. The true warrior of the light has committed injustices in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as he proceeds on his journey, he realizes that the people to whom he did not behave correctly always cross his path again. <laughs> it is his chance to right the wrong he did them, and he always unhesitatingly seizes that chance. Mm -hmm. What did you? I'm sure you read that page. Oh, yeah. That one, honestly, I kind of quit. I kind of need to finish the book. I mean, honestly, I skipped ahead a couple, but that, yeah. that's kind of where I left off because it sent me down this path of like, man, um, looking at some stuff and reading some things I'd written and thinking through some past relationships and stuff. And yeah. um, I don't know what do you have. Did you get anything from that? Yeah, I. It gave me chills. It kind of like I have like a, a lot of rushing past experiences going through my head, but. Yeah, there will be times where I will I will make the right with people. Yeah. Or experience it. Yeah. It's hard. It is hard. Because your natural Yeah. Your natural tendency is it is like avoid. And I've done that. And hide. You're like, oh there's so and so. Get out of here. 
I've done that over the past few years. Should we do that with people we want to see again? Like, right. I just don't want to talk right. to you right now. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. I've, and I've done that, you know, I think I've told you, like, I've had tough conversations with people. Mm -hmm. I've done it the past few years. It's really, it, was, it wasn't until I like, came like, in my 30s that I really had the, I guess, the the ego, getting over my ego. Oh, I got you. In order to, that being hum right. hu humility, in order to at least be like, look, I fucked up, man. <sighs> yeah. Like, and... In apologizing for the things that you did, mm -hmm. not take responsibility for what they did. No. Maybe, maybe. Doesn't or matter. maybe you fucked it all up. Who knows? Yep. But just owning it, owning it, whatever you did. And I've done that mm -hmm. recently. And it felt great. Yeah, it kind of does. It felt. You great. don't realize how much hard. you're carrying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when you don't like, I did it, and then what's what's crazy? This other person was like out there talking about stuff, mm -hmm. and but everyone's like. Oh, we know. I'm like, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I just did my part. Shit. Took yep. responsibility for it. Right. And um, people see that. People see that for what it for what it really is. Yeah, they feel it. I something I always I also practice. Um, and I didn't. I don't even remember where I picked this up at. Maybe it was some you know samurai shit or whatever. But is always uh, I always try to keep everyone that means anything to me like i always want them to know where we stand mm -hmm. is that weird no i think it's valuable um yeah and then to those same people be very quick to make amends if, mm -hmm. if you've done something like as fast as possible yeah um as soon as you realize it and even if you don't you say like look i i know i did something stupid you know <laughs> i'm figuring it out maybe you can help me but i i know i did but help me out <laughs> yeah. you know like yeah. just being vulnerable a little bit, I think. Um, yeah. <clears throat> just letting letting people know, like, yeah, that's... like if if you really care for someone, let them know. Yeah. Like we 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 don't do that, you know. Most people don't yeah. do that. They they never share that. Yeah. It's a weird thing. And it goes, I think it goes back to the first thing we talked about was, are those sticky? Oh. Yeah, this side's sticky. I um, just use some. Is back to like. To like love and the heart yeah of a warrior it's right. kind of like full circle where mm -hmm. it's okay to be vulnerable and like i th i do think that um it's a perfect full circle because what we talk about a lot is like really tough workouts and being you know david goggins stay hard and you know it, but yeah, but that dude, that he's a very emotional dude. Very. Like you, you look at him very. and you hear his Instagram stuff and you think, oh, that guy's hardcore. Right. He's super emotional. Yes, he is. I I don't know him at all. Yeah. Other than what what you he see. presents, but I get I get the feeling that that guy would probably cry at the drop of a hat. Absolutely. Just from just sheer emotion. Yeah. And that's where like that, I think. It's and like, then not give a shit what you think. That's that's <laughs> true. It's like the beautiful balance of like just, um being vulnerable and um being tough like it's like a it's like a great balance in my opinion mm -hmm. it's it's pretty cool yeah that's what i want at least that's you a, know? that's great um i was i was really surprised I, you you sent me this and we're like we should read this book and i read a couple passages and i was like oh gosh it sounds pretty <laughs> keep going <laughs> it was like it sounds pretty uh weak you know but yeah. I, I i you know then i, I open it up again with a clear mind oh you and, didn't tell uh, me that part no i'm telling you now i know <laughs> and uh <laughs> you put it on record <laughs> and uh yeah. yeah it's it's really good um, yeah it's a good little it's the perfect size and, and and i will say honestly you just like do this and be like oh, yeah it's and get something out of it it's up there i think i think you read it you have the same book that uh 366 days of stoicism or mm -hmm. whatever it's like a quote a day or whatever yeah it's kind of like that you can yeah. read you yeah. could like read a page yeah every day that's and what like, i did i yeah. kind of i kind of did it i read it all in like one day but. i know that's the thing like i was starting to read through it so fast i was like no 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 i need to like i need to savor this <sighs> yeah it's it's one of those that you kind of yeah. kind of keep coming back to some of the passages and get something different out yeah. of it now this guy i can't pronounce his last name and i'm not gonna try <laughs> oh, he's got like uh paulo coelho coelho he's got a bunch of different things um that have cool titles like the valkyries and 11 
minutes and the fifth mountain. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, Mark Devine talks about mountains. Maybe I should check that one out. I don't know. But the, the alchemist, I mean, there's cool shit in here um, mm-hmm. that he's connected to. And you look him up on Wikipedia and he's connected to all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to research him a little bit more. But this mm-hmm. was a great book. Um, we'll link it up. And, uh, it's a good little pocketbook. Put it in they should actually too. make it in a pocket size. They could. Because it is a really good one just to, just to have it and pull it out. Because I, I do that. I, you know, when we were reading The Way the Seal or when I'm going through Tough Town, like, I will kind of hand, like, carry shit around and be like, Yeah. Yeah. I need you get a, a second. Of, yeah. I need a second to, like, bring me, mm-hmm. bring well, me back to what reality. What I understand about this was that he wrote this as a blog. Oh. And it was like, that's why it's written like this. Okay. From what I understand, each one was like a blog post, and then he so put good. them into a, a book, which is cool. I'm curious to learn more about it. So I don't think he wrote it at one time. I think he wrote it over years. Yeah. Um, I get that vibe. Get this book, y'all. It, it And I, I told my friend this. Um, she gave this to me. I like, we were filming my launch video for my campaign, <laughs> so I couldn't like lose it, but it was a really yeah. hard time in January I just like got my car and like started crying you know yeah I was like you have no idea that's cool get the book (laughs) (laughs) cool all right thanks Gene thanks